channel so today i want to talk to us about how to solve this problem so i don't know maybe because i i traveled out of the country i don't know what just happened so um gmail logged me out of my primary email and uh, i've been trying to log in normally this 49 code is supposed to be sent to my phone and I will accept so once I accept on my phone then I'll be logged in but since then I've not been able to I, I'm not I'm not getting this uh, notification at all I've tried severally I thought okay maybe if I use the internet that I was using before uh, whether it is going to send the notification up to now I haven't gotten the notification so let us try every possible means to solve this issue I've googled it and I discovered that a lot of people have this problem. Some they will suggest that you just <clears throat> leave the email for a while, maybe a week or two, and try again. So, <clears throat> but I don't think I have the luxury for a week or two because I really need this email address. I really need to log in to this email address on my laptop. Although on my phone I'm logged in, but there are some certain things I just want to <clears throat> use on my laptop so i don't want uh I, I also want it to be logged in on my laptop for example some of my youtube videos um my um google history my um, browser history and so on so now <clears throat> let us try to um solve this problem so what i'm going to do now <clears throat> I, i've tried some other methods but nothing yet so what i want to do now is I'm logged in on this email address on my phone. So what I will do now is to disable the two-factor authentication on my phone. So I'm going to disable the two-factor authentication on my phone and let us see what is going to happen. All right. <clears throat> so now I'm logged in on my phone. So this is the particular email address that has the problem. So I'm going to click on my profile and to do that to, to, to do that i'm going to uh, sorry so i'm going to click on my profile you click on this profile image yeah this profile image click on it so that you can now go to where your profile is so i've, I've clicked on it now then you click on google accounts you click on google account so when you click on google account it will take you to this place and you know you see so many other information but what we have where we want to go to is uh, the security so just move here click on security so when you click on security disable the two-step verification so disable disable this two-step two verification so how do we disable? We click on it. So let's see. Okay, it's to continue. Okay, it wants us to um it also it wants us to sign in. Sorry, um Okay, so now I'm I'm at uh, the two-step verification where I'm going to turn it off. Turn it off. So what we do in the previous in the previous video towards the end is to sign into your email address on your phone. So it will take you here. I, I just don't want to show that part so that uh, I'm not revealing my login details. So now you click on the turn off two-step. Uh, this turn off two step verification, so that's what we're going to do now. Let's click on it. So you click on it now. It says turn off two step verification by turning this blah blah blah. You only use the password or password to sign in. Yes, turn off. So let's see what's going to happen now. We have turned it off. We have we've, we've turned it off. So now let us now log in again from our desktop let's see what's going to happen so let me pause this video now receive so you can see i've received the notification on my phone so yes it's it is me 
and the number here is 68 so i'll pick 68 welcome back and let us try to log in again on our desktop so we we'll go to the next something continue so i think my internet is low okay so this is the email address we've been trying to log in on this on the desktop or laptop as the case may be so i'm going to enter my password again so it wants to verify so let's see so i'm going to put my phone number so now i've received the notification on my phone now i just received a notification on my phone so let me show you the um let me show you the notification so you can know that i received so you can see i've received the notification on my phone so yes it's it is me and the number here is 68 so i'll pick 68 so and it's loading now so let me stop the video here so you can see what is happening on my screen um, so we are back we are back here so now you can see it is asking uh, me to uh, enter a new password so uh, you will still sign in on this device after changing your password for you are now so you can blah 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 okay So let's see what's going to happen. So I'm getting email notifications. So I think my internet is low. I think my internet is low. Should have come since. So now I want to update. Oh, sorry. I shouldn't have updated that one. So now um, it, it's successful now. So if I want to continue or secure my account, I can always do that. But let me just continue. So you see now it's opening my email address again. So that's it on how to uh, sign into your email address if you are not getting the uh, verification notification so if you have any questions you can leave it in the conversation thank you